Hi everybody, I'm Patrick Novotny, this is my YouTube channel, and I'm doing how-to videos on every single necktie not known to man, and I'm bringing them to you. So if that's the kind of thing you're looking for, then please subscribe. This time, I'm going to bring you a creation of Michelle Hernandez, and he's invented the Penrose Knot. So, we're going to take a closer look at that, and let's get started. Alright, so this knot is tied with the little end, so it's going to be on the long side, and uh, the big end is just going to go just past your belly button and uh, you're going to adjust it down to your belt line uh, once you get it all tightened up. Alright, so you're going to need uh, your necktie. Also, there's a little piece that's going to be added into the, into the middle of your tie. You might have noticed that in my introduction. I'm using uh, a half penny. And uh, anyways, I thought it was kind of neat and shiny and something to catch people's attention other than the crazy design of the knot itself. But you could use a piece of fabric, piece of plastic, you know, use your imagination. Anyhow, I'm going to show you how to do this. Let's get started. Alright, so we're going to take the big end. We're going to bring this into the middle. We're going to pinch that. We're going to take the little end. We're going to cross over. We're going to wrap it around the big end. It's going to come around this way like that. And now we're going to feed the little end up through the front and back down again. And that's our spiral. Alright, from here this is where uh, the trick is. We're going to fold this in half like that and we're going to cross the front like so. I want to keep this tight. Alright, and from here crossing the front we're going to feed it up through the back keeping this tie folded throughout. Pull it up through the top. And I want to make sure I continue to keep this folded. Alright, so it's going to be very much like a trinity knot from here. And I want, to, I want to be able to keep my fold and tuck it in through this bottom loop. So I'm going to feed it through like this. There we go. And I want to make sure I keep the fold that I want, I'm just pushing up the back end with my thumb on the loop here. So I have this double layer and on this side, same thing, I'm just pushing with my thumb to keep that double layer. Now, the little end, we're going to wrap it around the back just like a trinity knot, keeping our fold and then fit it up through this loop right here. Now you can tighten that up a little bit and not too much because you want to sort of put your foreign object in there soon before it gets too tight. Where I'm going to take my penny and now I can't see the way the queen is facing so but she's going to go in there into the middle of that knot. I want to make sure it goes under the layers and now I'm going to fix all my layers just by pushing the back layer of the knot from behind so you can see both layers. And now tighten that up. And we're going to take the excess, tuck it under our collar, holding on to that knot with one hand, pulling on the big end, we can slide that up, cinch that up to our neck. So that's how you do the Penrose Knot from the originator, Michelle Hernandez. You can check out his YouTube channel to see the original video if you want. Anyhow, I'm Patrick Novotny. This is my YouTube channel, and I do how-to videos on every single necktie knot known to man, and I'm bringing them to you. So if that's the kind of thing that you're looking for, then please subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. Oh, my God.